Jimmy Buffett, the man who turned Margaritaville into more than just a location on a map, is an American singer-songwriter, author, actor, and entrepreneur. Known for his easygoing style and beach bum persona, Buffett has attracted a dedicated following known as the Parrot Head. Today, we explore the life and career of the multi-talented individual whose influence reaches beyond music and has become a cultural phenomenon. James William Buffett was born in Pascagoula, Mississippi on December 25, 1946 to Mary Lorraine and James Delaney Buffett Jr. Though born in Mississippi, he grew up in Mobile, Alabama as the youngest of three children. His upbringing in the American South exposed him to various forms of music and culture that later influenced his unique style. The musical landscape of Mobile was rich and varied, giving young Jimmy a taste of country, blues, and folk music. These genres would later blend into his unique Gulf and Western sound, a fusion that combined the feel of the Gulf Coast with the storytelling elements of country and folk. In his formative years, Buffett was an avid sailor and also showed a flair for writing. Even as a child, the ocean called to him, shaping the aquatic themes that had become a cornerstone of his music. At McGill Tulin Catholic High School, Jimmy played the trombone in the school band. Notably, he began his undergraduate studies at Auburn University before transferring to the University of Southern Mississippi, where he graduated in 1969 with a bachelor's degree in history. After graduation, he briefly worked as a Billboard magazine correspondent in Nashville, getting a first-hand glimpse of the music industry. Although Nashville was considered the mecca of country music, Buffett struggled to find his footing there. He tried to fit into the traditional Nashville country mold, but soon realized he needed something different. That something different awaited him in Key West, Florida, where he would truly come into his own. This period was instrumental in shaping the artist he would become. The combination of his southern upbringing, exposure to diverse musical styles, and the innate love for the ocean were all formative experiences. They did more than just shape his music. They defined his life philosophy that millions of fans came to embrace. Arriving in Key West in the early 1970s, Jimmy Buffett found himself in a community that was a melting pot of artists, writers, fishermen, and free spirits. At the southern tip of the continental United States, Key West offered a setting that was both idyllic and unassuming, a place where people came to escape the conventional. At first, Buffett played for drinks at local bars, often covering popular songs of the day. But it was the unique fabric of Key West, its colorful characters, laid-back vibe, and the endless sea that inspired Buffett to start writing songs that spoke to his lifestyle. Musically, he started to incorporate elements that were not just country or rock, but also peppered with coastal and Caribbean flavors. Songs like A Parrot Looks at 40 and Come Monday were shaped by this environment. During this period, Buffett's beach bum persona came into full bloom. Dressed casually in Hawaiian shirts, shorts, and flip-flops, he became a figure that personified the escapist fantasies many Americans harbor. He wasn't just a musician singing songs. He was a storyteller sharing the gospel of beachside leisure and the joys of a simpler life. And this wasn't a put-on. Buffett truly lived this life, selling on his own boat and immersing himself in the local culture. This lifestyle wasn't just a backdrop, but a central character in his music. Buffett didn't just sing about beaches, boats, and bars. He celebrated them as places of freedom, escape, and personal discovery. His connection to Key West was so profound that even today, decades later, he continued to return to this paradise, sometimes giving impromptu performances in the same bars where he started. Margaritaville, his 1977 hit, encapsulated all these elements. It wasn't just a song, but a narrative of the Key West ethos. The term Margaritaville soon became synonymous with any laid-back setting where one would waste away without a care in the world, contributing to the culture in a way that few other songs have. Key West did more than inspire some of Jimmy Buffett's most iconic songs. It provided him with an identity, musical style, and a worldview. Here, Jimmy and the island coalesced into a brand, a lifestyle, and a philosophy that millions would adopt as their own. Margaritaville, Jimmy's single, was released in 1977. It quickly gained traction and captured the public's imagination like few other songs have. With its catchy melody and laid-back lyrics about a man wasting away in a tropical paradise, the song resonated deeply with listeners. But Margaritaville was more than just a three-minute tune. It was a window into a lifestyle that seemed irresistibly appealing in a busy, increasingly complicated world. Within a short period, the song climbed the charts, becoming not only a musical success, but also a cultural touchstone. Its impact was so strong that the term Margaritaville entered the American lexicon, symbolizing a mythical, idyllic place where everyday worries fade away. More than four decades after its release, the song continues to be a staple on radio stations and playlists, a timeless anthem for everyone seeking escape or relaxation. However, 
Jimmy Buffett didn't stop with this song. Realizing the commercial potential of Margaritaville, he transformed it into a diversified brand, opening the first Margaritaville restaurant in Key West in 1985. Today, the Margaritaville brand has expanded to include restaurants, retail stores, and hotels worldwide. You can even find Margaritaville branded products, ranging from apparel to home goods to a specific line of frozen foods. And then there's Margaritaville Resort, an all-encompassing destination offering not just rooms, but an experience complete with spas, water activities, and of course, plenty of opportunities to sip margaritas. Buffett's empire also includes retirement communities called Latitude Margaritaville, where residents can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. It is this brilliant transmutation of a song into an empire that makes Margaritaville extraordinary. This is not merely about monetization, but about extending the values and joys described in the song into tangible experiences. Buffett tapped into the American psyche's yearning for leisure, escapism, and indeed happiness, and turned it into a lifestyle accessible beyond his music. Perhaps, most impressively, the Margaritaville brand has managed to sustain its relevance across generations. Whether you're a baby boomer who listened to the original track in the 70s, or a millennial discovering it on a vintage playlist, the allure of Margaritaville remains universal and timeless. Jimmy Buffett is the epitome of a renaissance man, proving that his creativity knows no bounds. While his music might be the most obvious aspect of his artistry, his talents stretch far into other mediums, specifically literature and acting. Beginning with his foray into writing, Buffett has penned several books climbing their way to the top of the New York Times bestseller list. Notably, his works include the autobiographical A Pirate Looks at 50 and the fictional Where is Joe Merchant? His storytelling style, much like his song, is laid back yet profoundly evocative. Often set against tropical backdrops and filled with colorful characters, Buffett's books resonate because they offer the same escapism and sense of adventure that his music does, capturing the imagination of readers as effectively as his songs captivate listeners. But his literary pursuits don't stop at books. He's also contributed to anthologies and penned a stage musical called Escape to Margaritaville, which had a stint on Broadway. The musical endeavor was another avenue for him to explore themes close to his heart, like life, love, and the continuing pursuit of happiness. While Jimmy Buffett's name is often synonymous with leisure and laid-back living, he was also committed to philanthropy and environmentalism. This isn't just an afterthought or gesture. His charitable work extends back decades and is an integral part of his life's mission. While many celebrities engage in philanthropy as part of their public relations strategy, Buffett's efforts have always been deeply personal. His dedication to disaster relief particularly in the coastal and Caribbean regions, is not merely a charitable exercise, but a way to give back to the communities that have been an integral part of his artistic journey. From organizing benefit concerts to providing immediate and through his own resources, Buffett leverages his fame to amplify crucial issues and mobilize support when disasters strike. Wildlife preservation, particularly concerning marine life, is another cause Buffett passionately supports. Founded in 1981, his Save the Manatee Club is one of the most notable examples of this commitment. Co-founded with former U.S. Senator and Governor Bob Graham, the organization aims to protect manatees and their habitats. Over the years, the club has been instrumental in advocating for stronger manatee protection laws, sponsoring research, and raising public awareness through educational programs. The focus on manatees isn't just a whimsical choice, but a well-calibrated effort to preserve the ecosystems of the Florida waterways where these gentle creatures live project demonstrates Buffett's deeper understanding of environmental balance. By focusing on one species, he contributes to the health of a fragile ecosystem that countless organisms depend on. Buffett has also collaborated with scientists and conservationists to promote sustainable fishing and marine habitat preservation. His reach in the environmental sector has even led to partnerships with universities, where he funds scholarships and research initiatives that align with his conservation goals. Buffett's environmentalism is expressed through his lifestyle brand. Margaritaville Resorts, for instance, often adopt eco-friendly practices, serving as an extension of his environmental ethos. Jimmy Buffett's philanthropy and environmental activism are not sideline activities, but rather a core part of his identity. They allow him to extend the paradisical world he describes in his music into a tangible reality, preserving it for future generations. This makes Buffett more than an entertainer. Jimmy Buffett is a guardian of the lifestyle environments that inspire his work. Buffett's entrepreneurial acumen has not only allowed him to become one of the wealthiest musicians globally, but has also demonstrated how a brand can grow without losing its soul. Despite his immense success in various industries, it's evident that Buffett's true love remains his music. Along with the lifestyle that initially brought him into the public eye, he's managed to build an empire without compromising the integrity of his original vision, a feat that few artists or entrepreneurs can claim.
It's not just about generating revenue for Buffett. It's about extending the ethos of Margaritaville into every venture he touches, whether it's a casino, a retirement community, a satellite radio channel. Each enterprise embodies the same values of relaxation, escapism, that have defined Buffett's career. On Friday, September 1st, 2023, the world began to stand in collective mourning and grapple with the heart-wrenching news of the passing of the incomparable Jimmy Buffett at the age of 76. The announcement of his tragic loss was made through a heartfelt statement posted on his official social media platforms and website. The statement eloquently noted, Jimmy transitioned peacefully on the night of September 1st, enveloped by the love of his family, friends, his cherished music, and faithful canine companions. He lived each moment as if it were a lyric and a song, right up to the final breath. His absence will create an immeasurable void in the lives of countless individuals. Initially, details regarding the cause of his passing were scant. However, it was later reported that he had been privately contending with a diagnosis of skin cancer that progressed to lymphoma over the past four years. Jimmy Buffett had been quietly battling his illness for an extended period and had been receiving end-of-life care in a hospice setting. So in the grand tapestry of the American culture and beyond, Jimmy Buffett is a folk hero for the modern age, embodying the wanderlust, entrepreneurial spirit, and knack for simple joys that define the American dream for many. So we raise our fins and margarita glasses to you, Jimmy. You leave behind an irreplaceable void and will be eternally remembered and missed.